San Telmo Museum is located in San Sebastian, in an old Dominican convent dating from the middle of the 16th century. The fire and plundering of the city in 1813 and the later transformation of the convent into an artillery barracks caused the building to deteriorate significantly. In 1928, the decision was taken to restore the building and transform it permanently into the San Telmo Museum. It is at this time that on the recommendation of the painter Ignacio Zuloaga, the Catalan artist José María Cert Ibadía carries out the decoration of the bare walls of its church. Cert was considered at that time to be one of the most sought after and internationally famous muralists. Excited about the enormous possibilities presented by the walls of the church, Cert paints 11 canvases which take up a surface of 785 square meters. They portray important moments in the life of the history of Gipuzkoa, such as the shipyards of Pasaya, or work in the foundries. Son pinturas sobre lienzo realizadas en su taller de París y adheridas posteriormente a los muros de San Telmo. Para crear estas complejas composiciones, Ser montaba escenografías reales con personajes y con maniquíes que luego fotografiaba y dibujaba con ellos bocetos al carboncillo. El museo conserva hoy en día cinco de estos bocetos originales. Sert aplicaba sobre la tela una imprimación, posteriormente la cubría con una capa de preparación blanca y coloreaba toda la superficie con una base de color rosácea. La doraba y por último dibujaba y pintaba sobre ella a base de veladuras al óleo y diferentes capas de barnices. Para poder trabajar en esas grandes dimensiones, Sert ideó un ingenioso sistema de tambores que posibilitaba ir enrollando los lienzos y avanzar sobre el trabajo. Por último, para su montaje definitivo en los muros, realizó ajustes de composición y de tamaño para adaptarse a las medidas concretas de cada zona. Por eso podemos observar piezas de tela superpuestas a la base de los lienzos con retoques de dorados, veladuras y barnices también. Since their completion in 1931, the paintings have experienced serious conservation problems, mainly due to the intimate interaction between the building and the canvases. The wall to which they are attached transmits humidity from outside to the buildings. Therefore, the canvases found in the shaded north wall sections facing the Urgui mountain and the sea are in a much more serious state, given that they are more exposed. These problems are made worse due to Sert's spectacular pictorial stratigraphy, given that the supposition of different layers creates breathability problems. When the accumulated humidity tries to evaporate, it is confronted with various impermeable layers, such as metal foil or varnish. This increases the internal pressure between the layers, creating separation pockets and eventually a breakage in the strata. Furthermore, the droplets of condensation which form inside the building also settle both on the surface of the canvases as well as on some of the interior layers, leading to the apparition of fungal colonizations and degrading the soluble strata. Between March 2013 and December 2014, a dual programme of restoration studies and work began, both curative and preventive, to deal with the damage and the causes which provoked it. In order to diagnose the changes and why they appeared, among other things, a microclimatic study of the church was carried out, with exhaustive direct inspections and environmental data sensors. Through this, it was detected that the fluctuations in humidity were very often higher than the limits considered acceptable for canvas conservation, and that in specific areas there were water filtrations from the adjoining walls, mainly in the chancel roof joints in the church, and the joints between the terraces and the northern wall sections. The museum immediately set in motion an emergency operation to waterproof the critical points, paralyzing the restoration of the affected canvases. A year later, it has been confirmed that the areas where these filtrations in the facades have been successfully sealed and the wall hangings have dried out 
enabling the completion of the restoration of the canvases. An efficient system of ventilation was also designed to avoid condensation, and a monitor was installed whereby an alarm is set off and the ventilation activated when risk factors reach a certain level. From a curative viewpoint, restoration processes have been carried out with the aim of restoring the work to a physical state whereby it will last for some time to come without altering its original characteristics. A polychrome fixing process was carried out, the most important process to ensure that the piece will last, which involves injecting an adhesive by which, through heat and pressure, the different layers which have become detached through the humidity can be fixed. Following this, any adhesions which could damage the conservation were removed, such as dust particles, paper protection, and remains of previous adhesives, using an innocuous treatment which respects the original cert varnishing. Furthermore, a fungicide treatment was applied as a preventative measure. When the canvas is separated from the wall or fragments are missing, they are stuck back on and fabric grafts are carried out, which are later stuccoed and recolored. Lastly, with the dual aim of restoring the lost aesthetic value of the polychrome, such as transparency and depth, and of protecting it from ultraviolet light rays, regeneration work is carried out on the varnishing, and the whole surface is protected with low molecular weight resins with stabilizers. Throughout the whole process, the museum has allowed visitors near the canvases in order to share this marvellous opportunity to appreciate both the pictorial details of CERT together with the conservation work close up. The magnificence of the CERT canvases sometimes leads us to forget how fragile they are. The day-to-day -day comings and goings of the museum, the constant visits and events, the environmental variations, all put pressure on these canvases, which are much more vulnerable than we may think. Therefore, the San Telmo Museum has opted for a preventive conservation, preferring to carry out respectful and prudent restoration work, together with a maintenance program with routine controls to monitor their evolution over time. The final aim will be to establish sensitive, respectful conservation guidelines to ensure these excellent CERT paintings maintain their physical stability and their beauty. That is our responsibility, to look after and protect this legacy so that it will last into the future. <laughs>